During the 1300s, Japan's unity began to break down. Daimyo, or warrior chieftains in the north and south, began to fight each other for power. In 1467, civil war broke out and centralized rule ended. The time to follow is known as the Sengoku, or Warring States period. It lasted from 1467 to 1568. Powerful samurai took control and became daimyo. This became the new type of Japanese feudalism. The emperor in Kyoto became a figurehead. Many daimyo formed alliances and tried to gather enough strength to take over the country. One daimyo named Oda Nobunaga defeated his rivals and took over the capital city of Kyoto. Under his motto, rule the empire by force, he tried to eliminate his remaining enemies. Five, Nobunaga's forces fought the first battle in which firearms had been used effectively in battle in Japan, in which his army of 3,000 musketeers crushed an enemy force of samurai cavalry. Shh, be very, very quiet. I'm hunting samurai. Nobunaga was not able to unify Japan when one of his generals turned on him in 1582. He committed seppuku, the ritual suicide of a samurai. His best general, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, continued toward Nobunaga's goal. By 1590, he controlled most of the country, <laughs> but he did not stop with Japan though, he then set his eyes on China. He invaded Korea in 1592 and started a campaign against the Koreans and their allies in Ming, China. When he died though, his troops fled from Korea. Although both Nobunaga and Hideyoshi failed to unify all of Japan, one of Hideyoshi's daimyo allies did. His name was Tokugawa Ieyasu. In 1600, he defeated his rivals, including Hideyoshi's son, at the Battle of Sekigahara, which earned him the loyalty of many daimyo throughout Japan. He then became the sole ruler, and the emperor named him Shogun. He moved the capital to the small fishing village named Edo, which would later become Tokyo. This is how Tokugawa Ieyasu founded the Tokugawa Shogunate, which continued until 1867. The emperor held the highest rank in society, but held no real power. The shogun was the actual ruler, followed by the daimyo. Samurai warriors were loyal to the daimyo and shogun, and under them were the peasants, The merchants, and the artisans. Under the Tokugawa Shogunate, Japan enjoyed over 200 years of prosperity. The population rose 
and farming communities produced more food. The majority of the people who prospered were the merchants and the rich. The vast majority of the peasants were weighed down by heavy taxes. Even with that, everyone, rich or poor, benefited from a flowering of Japanese culture during this era. Now available for the first time ever, that's what I call Haiku, volume 416, featuring such hits as... A sudden shower falls, and naked I am, riding a naked horse. By your favorite artists like Haitian. No sky, no earth, but still the snowflakes fall. And I saw a giant firefly, that way, this way, that way, this, and it passes by. And don't forget Kojo! Night and the moon, my neighbor playing on his flute, out of tune. And don't forget, for this run time special offer, for 10 minutes only, if you order now, get all 415 past volumes of That's What I Call Haiku. To order, call 555-1-800-60607. Or send check or money order to Rolling Springs, Minnesota, 5050698. Now why the sure again is obsolete. Ah! <laughs> oh, my sword. This thing is not handy. Why did Japanese ever fail? <laughs> <laughs> that was. Konnichiwa. Come on! Oh, hi, Elvis.